May is prime time for tornadoes for the state of Oklahoma. The frequency tends to drop off the later we get in June. In May, the upper level jet stream right across Oklahoma, combine that with surface southeast winds with that rich, warm, moist, unstable air from the Gulf of Mexico, you have the turning of the winds with height to allow supercell rotating thunderstorms with a heightened risk of tornadoes. As we get into June, the upper level jet stream tends to jump way up to near the Canadian border. The wind shear moves out of Oklahoma and moves up into the northern plains. Some of the weather disturbances that produce thunderstorms do that same thing. The other thing in May, the dry line, that's the west edge of that rich Gulf of Mexico moist air coming in from the southeast, is often in western Oklahoma, western parts of Texas, clashing with that dry southwest flow. Thunderstorms form on that dry line and then move into Oklahoma. In June, the dry line tends to move a little bit farther inland to New Mexico, so storms form farther to the west and then don't get so often into Oklahoma. Where do the storms go then and how often in June? Well, it's down a little bit from the country's peak month, which is May, almost 10 tornadoes per day, down to a little bit more than seven on average per day in June. And it tends to occur a little farther to the north. There are still some tornadoes in Oklahoma, but the center of the activity tends to go up toward parts of Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, and Iowa. So June is still a very busy month, but getting a little less so for Oklahoma.